All right, guys, get some NCAA basketball picks and props for Monday, April 8th, slated game. Straight before we go to the leaderboard, we are coming to an end. This is the last game of college basketball. I want to thank everybody for the support you guys have given to this channel when we break down college basketball. We've had a ton of viewers, had a ton of new followers. Hopefully, we guys see you guys next year for college basketball as well. Trey, let's take a look at that leaderboard. We both stayed above 500 on the year. How do you start us off? Yeah, we did. Uh, the small college connoisseur has faded away as the major teams, Power 5 teams, have taken over. Uh, so kind of skidded here recently, but uh, I gave out the over 146 and a half total points in the NC State versus Purdue game. Never had a chance. It went under by about 30 points. Yeah, and I had a, I'm the sucker, Alabama plus 11 and a half going up against the Huskies. This game went from Alabama might win to Huskies are going to cover in about five seconds because the Huskies, man, they're just, they're just that good. Uh, Alabama, they stopped making their threes in the second half. I still think they made 15 or 16 shot 50 percent from deep and they still lost by 14 so this goes to show you how good UConn is Trey let's take a look at that national championship game uh it's two best teams in college basketball if you ask me UConn Huskies going up against the Purdue Boilermakers UConn over the last two tournaments now 11-0 record against the spread they're laying six and a half in this game against Purdue the over-unders 145 and a half and I think what everybody's wanting to see is the matchup between the two towers down low so I'm gonna have you start us off here with this matchup yeah, this is going to be a very entertaining game to watch. Both teams, like Bear said, they deserve to be here. UConn and Purdue, they have both covered every single game during the tournament, so they've both looked like dominant teams. And I believe that the covering streak will continue for Purdue. Give me Purdue here. I'm going to take them plus six and a half in this game. I love that we're getting so many points here because I just truly believe this is going to be a competitive game. And I believe that Purdue has a great chance to win it just as much as UConn because – we're going to see Edie play every single minute in this game as long as he stays out of foul trouble. And that's going to constantly cause trouble for UConn offensively and also defensively. And the, de and the difference in this game is going to be the fouls. Purdue, they love to get teams in foul trouble quickly. They rank top 10 in college basketball in free throws made per game. And they simply do not foul themselves. They rank top 20 in team fouls per game. So we're going to see Purdue... Get UConn into foul trouble pretty quickly in this game, just like they love to do when Purdue's going to be able to stick to their game plan because they stay out of foul trouble. So we're going to see all their stars play in this game. And I believe that Purdue is on a mission and are the hungrier dog. Bear loves the hungrier dogs. And it's easy to get overconfident and complacent in yourself whenever you won the national championship like UConn did last year. And yes, I do believe Hurley is keeping his team engaged, but I think that uh, Purdue just seems to be out the prove a point here give me the upset team in this game i'm going with the big man back-to-back -back player of the year give me purdue plus six and a half versus uconn who's winning um i do believe that uconn will win this game but six and a half points is too much. <laughs> okay um we're gonna disagree and i i mean i kind of agree with everything you said but I don't think people understand how much zach Eady means to purdue i've watched every single game in the tournament for purdue I know it's probably wrong, but I feel like it's, what, 80%, 90% of the time he gets a touch on offense. He either does that little hook, he does a power move, he gets to the free throw line, or he brings two, and they kick out for the three. In this game, UConn, they don't need to do – they don't need to bring two. They've got Klingon down low, and I really think both of these teams are going to take away the big guys. I think if you take Zach Eady and Donovan Klingon away from the teams, UConn has the better overall team. They've got the better guards. They've got the better shooters. They've got the better head coach. Uh, I mean, Hurley, all he is is a ball of energy. It, it just transfers all the way to his team on the floor. Uh, again, I, I really think Zach Eady is going to be taken away in this game. And whenever you take Zach Eady away from Purdue, they're not a good team. And if you take Klingon away from UConn, they're still a very good team. So I'm going to take UConn here, minus six and a half. I also like the under. I don't think there's going to be a lot of shots made in this game. There's going to be a lot of jump shots, I think, because if you do take away the big guys, the lane's going to be – you're not going to be scoring 20-plus points in the lane for these big guys. And plus – you can't drive to the lane either because they will block you. Um, I like UConn here, minus six and a half. I think they get it done. I think they continue the double-digit streak. I, I think this game's not going to be close. So give me UConn here. Uh, you want a rebuttal? I mean, I just feel like UConn is a great play. We've seen them absolutely trounce teams, so I don't hate that play. Um, but I, like I said, this, this game's going to come down to if Zach Eady stays out of foul trouble, this game is, is going mm -hmm. to remain close. It's going to be a very – slow pace uh, fist fight game. So taking the points here just makes sense for me. I really think they're both just going to get in foul trouble fouling each other. And then it's going to come down to what team has the better guards and what team has the better game plan. And that's UConn all the way. All right.
Good breakdown there. We are split on the game. I'm also taking the under. I think they got to make a lot of jump shots in this game. Trey, let's go to the player props. Have you start us off that leaderboard? Yeah, guys. And uh, with the leaderboard here, uh, I went 0-1 on the player props. That's because I gave out Zach Eady, and I gave out his over 40.5 PRs versus NC State. Only finished with 32, 20, and 12 game for him. So a little bit of a down game, but uh, look out for my player props today. Yep, I had DJ Burns under 13 and a half points. Uh, laws of motion. Uh, we did it again. We just got to go to the classroom every single time now, I think. Uh, 2 and 0, whenever we break it down in the classroom. I mean, DJ Burns also, this is the worst he's looked. I don't know if you watched a lot of the game, but three minutes in, this dude was huffing and puffing. I know he's a bigger guy, but he didn't look like that all, all tournament long. So maybe just a little bit of fatigue, uh, but we did go 1 and 0 with the under there. Trey, let's go to the player props. Have you start us off. Yeah, guys, I'm going to be running it back, but I'm going to take his rebounds out of it. Give me Zach Eady to go over 22 and a half points versus UConn. I love this over for Edie in this game because I believe that we're going to see him smash the over here in this one. And that's because Edie, he's going to be uh, seeing just a lot of free throws in this game. And I expect him to make double digit free throws. So we just need him to make a handful of buckets in this game, which I believe is easily doable. A lot of people believe that Klingon is going to hold down Edie in this game. But we're talking about Zach Edie, guys, a mammoth of a man. Yes, Klingon is big, but... He is significantly smaller than even Zach Eady. He's a, a few inches a smaller and a lot of pounds lighter. And I'm talking about the back-to-back -back player of the year here. We cannot simply hold down this man. And just over the tournament, Edie is averaging way over this number with 28 points per game. And I believe that Edie can probably hit that average here in this game because he's going to play 40 minutes, minutes if he can or something close to that if he gets in the foul trouble. And Edie, he's going to leave everything out there on the court. He's probably going to turn pro after this game. If not, then he's going to, going to dominate for Purdue again next year. Give me Zach Edie to go over 24 and a half points for UConn. Yeah, Trey, uh, again, I, I disagree with you, but I respect the play. And, I mean, why wouldn't you? Zach Edie's been a monster all season long, so I understand the play there. Uh, for my player prop today, it's going to be Donovan Klingon to go under 14 and a half points going up against Purdue. It's a little bit out of the box because Donovan, he's been dominant down low for the Huskies in the tournament so far. In the game against Alabama, he was the difference. He was amazing. He played 29 minutes, scored 18 points. I think he had like eight blocks in the game against the Tide. And Donovan has now scored 14-plus points in four of the last five matchups in the tournament. The reason I like the under is the reason I think the under in the game is going to hit, and that's because he's going up against Zach Eady. I think both teams are going to have to find different ways to win because essentially I think what's going to happen is that the two big guys are going to cancel each other out, and they're going to have to find a way to win with their guards. I don't see either big man finding a ton of success down low going up against the other. And hopefully what happens in this game, the officiating, it has to stay consistent with what we've seen all season long. I don't want the officiating to change because if we go back and watch the calls, uh, the foul calls, if there's any contact on these bigger guys, they've been calling fouls. And just because they're big on big now, I don't want that to change. I'm hoping since we have the two Giants down low, the foul calls stay consistent. And that could lead to both these guys getting in foul trouble. I know that Donovan, he's a great player. He's going to be able to score sometimes in this game. But I think 14 and a half is too many going up against Zach Eady. He does not have an outside game. He needs to score everything inside on Zach Eady. Ask him to score seven times on Zach Eady's too much. Give me Donovan Klingon here to go under 14.5 as the plug. Trey, let's go to the graphic. Have you start us off? Yeah, guys, I went with Purdue here, plus six and a half versus UConn. A little head-to-head -head for the last video of the year. Uh, comment down below <laughs> who you guys agree with. And I'm also going with Zach Eady over 22 and a half points versus UConn. He's just going to dominate here. This is uh, a rinse and repeat. Set it and forget it play. Yep, we're going head-to-head, -head, and uh, I think that's the appropriate way to end the season. Uh, this should be a great game. UConn minus 6.5, also going to add the under, what was it, 148.5? Yes. 148.5, I think there's got to be a lot of made jump shots in this game. I think it'd be Donovan Klingon under 14.5 points, might be under 15.5. I think it's 14.5 right now. might have been 15.5 when I made it, but I don't think either big guy has success in this game, so hopefully Klingon goes under the points there. Guys, again, thank you guys for being here all season long. That's going to do it for the Plays and Props for Monday, April, eight slated games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below. See you guys next video, and thanks for watching. Super Bowl, we also have 12,000 subs coming right around the bend. We're at 10,200. We're going to give away two tickets to anybody, to any game they want, NBA, NFL, college basketball. It doesn't matter. We can wait until the new season for NFL. Any game you want to go, whenever we get to 12K, we're going to have that uh, giveaway coming up as well. Leaderboard, we had multiple questions this morning about how to become a member for the YouTube channel. Let's do that really quick tutorial. You're going to go to YouTube.com. You're going to go to Bears Profit Plays. You're going to search it in. You're going to hit our thing. There's a join button right just to the right of subscribe. You're going to click that. There's two options. You have the Bear Pack for $4.99. That gives you access to YouTube member plays. And then you have the Bear Pack Gold for $7.99 a month. 
That gives you access to our member plays on YouTube, and it gives you a one-month membership to our website, bearsprofitplays.com. So if you get the Bear Pack Gold, you save yourself 2 bucks a month, a little bit cheaper if you want to do that. But that is the tutorial for anybody that needed it. We had multiple questions today through email about how to do it, and it wasn't working. But if you want to know, there it is right there. Trey, 